good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Am Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another WWE Elite figure review on the brand new ringside exclusive NXT War Games Tommaso Ciampa WWE Elite figure. And I'm pretty excited for this one. I will be honest with you, I feel like we continue to go down this road of kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say completely lackluster ringside exclusives, you know? But I feel like some of these ringside exclusives have been lackluster for a little bit now. I will say, though, the packaging has been really sick. I like how it's like uniform and square. I like how tight it is. It reminds me of like a Jax figure or something. I just like the way it looks. Tommaso Ciampa down here, you get like your war game style with like explosions and stuff going on. You have this like X in the middle. Tommaso Ciampa here with his mask and all these cool things. We actually have a ringside exclusive embossed deal right here. It's like, not quite a sticker, but like a piece of, like it's a sticker, but it's like a thick sticker on there instead of like just embossed on there, which I really like. I like this much better. WWE logo down here, uh, image of the man over here. WWE Elite logo, WWE Elite logo down here. You have the War Games NXT logo here with the tank and all the good stuff going on. Mattel logo over here. Another image of Ciampa here with his great inspired gear on there, looking like a madman. No other logos down here. On the back, you do get a beautiful image of Tommaso Ciampa's entrance. And then down here, it does say no one will survive. And you have a little bio read. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it right now. Now, if we spin this thing back around, you guys will see that it is a ringside exclusive. So if you guys would like to grab it, you got to use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% over there and grab this guy. That is the number one stop shop for all of your wrestling figures. Wrestlingfigures.com, use code MDTOYS. But with all those things being said, man, let's crack Tommaso Ciampa out of his packaging and find out what the hell Tommaso Ciampa is all about and how it compares to his other elite figures. And here is Tommaso Ciampa out of his packaging, ladies and gentlemen, looking pretty damn swell. I do have my gripes about the figure, which we will always get into, and I do have some things that I love about the figure, you know? How does he compare to his Elite 69? A lot of people say that the Elite 69 Ciampa is one of the best figures of all time. Also, do you guys pronounce it Ciampa or Ciampa or Tommaso or Ciampa or Ciampa? I think I want to say I go back and forth. I feel like I, I call him Ciampa and Ciampa. Now I'm all effed up in the brain. Now I don't even know what the hell I call him. I've, I've already effed up now. But anyways, guys, we're going to dive into Ciampa's accessories and the figure itself. You guys know how this works. It's not a two-in-one, so he gets all the love today here for the ringside exclusive. So we're going to dive into his accessories first, then we'll take a closer look at TC himself. So for Ciampa's accessories, man, starting out first, you know, we this, this figure has been a long time coming, I feel like. I feel like we saw it way long ago, and now here it is in the flesh, and we got multiple renditions of the figure and all those different things, and we'll cover it. But here is the entrance shirt slash vest jacket deal, and they did with this jacket what I think they should should have done for Hulk Hogan's pants, you know? Similar to what I was saying about Unmatched Series 1 Kenny, how they like screen printed what it looked like onto the material, so it kind of gives it that realistic look. It does Velcro in the front. I like the feel of it. It kind of feels like a poncho or something on the front, which is very odd. You get some cool details going on. No sculpting or anything, which I'm fine with. I would much rather have this than rubber. I know you don't get like the metal detail. You don't get like the hooks and the crannies and all this different stuff, but it is cloth and it maneuvers very well, and he can still ab crunch in this and all those different things. You guys already saw what it looked like on the figure. I like this accessory a whole lot. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Outside of that, you do get the mask accessory, which is kind of like the, the entrance coat and the mask is really where this thing is made. You guys can see the different sculpt, the silver, the bronzish orange kind of deal going on. You get like the different mask things that are the wraps and the hooks that go around the skull there. And it fits the figure pretty daggum good, I would say. I'd say it goes on the figure well, fits the figure well. You guys can see his eyes through there and everything. So, so if you look at that, I mean, it, it fits the figure well. It fits figure well. You can see Tommaso Ciampa's eyes through the holes, which is what you always want to see. And outside of that, you also get this hood accessory that is really good. I don't know what the inspiration behind this was. If anybody knows out there, you can let me know down in the comment section below. But he has this like gold helmet deal going over the top. It's got very nice sculpting in there. Kind of gives it like a lizard slash snake skin type pattern or crocodile skin. And he's got like, it's got this like goldish silver plate. You have this like black deal going right here. And it's just a hood. Kind of reminds me of Kane in the early 2000s. But you know, you pop it over there and and there's the helmet. The helmet is complete, so that's pretty cool, man. I like it. You could also put this on other characters. It kind of reminds me of Super Shredder or something, but you can put this on other characters to kind of give him like a heel entrance or something. It's just really cool. He looks like a damn boss or a, I don't know. He, he looks sick. He looks like a character from a video game, which may be the inspiration, or he may have came up with it on his
his own, but it's still super sick. I like it. I don't have any issues with it. But outside of that, you also get his interchangeable hands, and that is going to be your ricochet Kawhi Leonard shake your hands or, or you know, waving is what this is supposed to be. So it's supposed to be the waving hands. Get the black tape hand for the right hand and the non-black tape hand for the left hand. So for Tommaso Ciampa, starting out at the top of the head sculpt, man, this looks to be his Elite 69 head sculpt. I don't see really any differences. Maybe some slight color variation to the beard. You guys can see, like, the gray details in the blonde kind of come through on the beard. Very nice head. It's one of the better heads. I'd say a lot of people would say Elite 69 Ciampa is one of their favorite figures uh, just ever. Like, it, it's very quality. A lot of people love it. The formula, all the different things. Speaking of formula, you guys will see here. I remember when they first showed this figure, they gave him the Daniel Bryan torso, and everybody shat on them, man. They came out of the woodworks to shat on that figure, and rightfully so. I think they were trying to just use the base model of his uh, his first Hall of Champions figure, or maybe that was just, you know, the real deal, because his Hall of Champions figure was very pale. It had the, the light torso. Head sculpt wasn't that detailed for DIY, but having this, this you know, the Dolph Ziggler style Finn Balor torso is much appropriate. The skin tone being darker. It has the chest hair. It has the stomach hair. It has the double jointed arms. You get the bicep veins. You get the nice shoulder detail. You get the black tape. This is a whole lot better, man. This is a whole lot better than what we were going to get if it did not have that. So, this is very nice. I love it. Going down into the trunks here. Very plain tights. It's kind of just black and gold. You get the belt decal on there. You get the pockets and stuff kind of just printed on there. No real sculpt detail. This is just, you know, regular skin tone legs painted black, you know, and they don't give you two knee pads. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but he doesn't have a left knee pad. He has the right knee pad on there, and he does have solid black boots, and this figure just, I, I don't know, like, it's not bad as far as, like, the, the lower the lower half. It's not bad, but when you look at him, like, look how jacked he is up top and how, like, small his legs are. So that was my biggest issue with the Elite 69, and we can get into our, our uh, figure comparisons right here. Now, one thing that you'll notice about my Elite 69 is I actually replaced his legs with Bobby Roode legs to give him thicker legs because he was tiny, man. He looked like this Tommaso Ciampa over here, and I felt like these legs were too small, so I switched them out. This one over here, however, does have the regular legs, but he does have the camo pants over it, so this is like my street gear Ciampa, and then you have the Hall of Champions Ciampa, then you have the Elite 69 Fix-Up Ciampa, then you have the ringside exclusive there, but I just felt like he wasn't jacked enough on the lower half, and maybe that's accurate. I'm not entirely sure. I just felt like, you know, maybe the height's accurate, but I, I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think down below. I feel like these legs look a lot more proportion, but they may not be accurate. I don't know. I was just kind of playing around with stuff and everything. You guys can let me know what you think, but it is cool to see this Ciampa up next to all the other Ciampas. There's your Elite 69 comparison with the head sculpt. Again, it's basically the exact same. Slight color variation, you know, no knee brace or anything like that, but uh, I, I like it, man. It's, it's cool to see all these Ciampas up next to each other. He's kind of like the only one remaining, right? Everybody that was in NXT is just gone. But I think that pretty much wraps up this ringside exclusive WWE Elite Tommaso Ciampa NXT War Games figure review, man. Overall, I like it a lot. I think that it's great to see an updated Ciampa, long tights, great looking head sculpt, great looking torso, great formula, double jointed arms, great accessories. I think this is definitely a must grab because the Elite 69 is really hard to come by and this is just one that's awesome, man. This is a really great figure. You know, it's kind of weird with the lower half being a little bit small, but I think it works okay. I don't think it's terrible. I think overall, if you guys would like to grab it again, it is ringside exclusive, so you guys know the deal. WrestlingFigures.com, use code MDTOYS to save 10%. Use priority shipping. Do not use code free ship. It will take forever to get to your house. So use code MD Toys, select priority shipping. That's the best way to go. But I like this figure, man. I like this figure a lot. I think it's an upgrade from Elite 69. And it's a, uh, you know, you don't have to pay an uh, arm and a leg for it, man. So if you want a Chompa, this is the best Chompa to get right now. And you get interchangeable hands, all the accessories, all the good stuff. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on the Chompa down in the comment section below. My top 10 WWE Elites of the year, I think, will be posted on Saturday morning. So definitely stay tuned for that. Should be a banger top 10 AEW figures to follow that and then we're going to get into the worst figures of the year so and of course we do have a room tour it actually kind of set me back on the room tour because one of my shelves fell yes one of my shelves fell and it was absolutely god awful so I got to get that cleaned up before we can even do the room tour so I do apologize for that but I hope you guys did enjoy the video let me know your thoughts down below and don't cross the line like my shelf when it decided to just fall out of the damn wall and all my Roman Reigns plummeted to the ground you crossed the line I've been